Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronic Circuit Hub. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon. Okay. So in the series of op-amp input impedance and loading effect, we have already discussed the two modules this is the last module of this series in this module we will see that what is the input impedance and what is the role of the loading effect and how do we nullify the loading effect okay so let us have a quick recap of uh, those two two modules so in module first we have seen that a potential divider is connected to the inverting terminal of an open okay and there was some gain over here and you were not getting we were not getting the desired output because of the loading effect because of because of the loading effect and input impedance okay so this was the this was the first module we have discussed and we have seen that you have some your input voltage and then there, there was some output voltage after divider and we were not able to get the amplified output okay this is the amplification voltage amplification section so in module second we have seen that uh, this is voltage divider and that is connected to the non-inverting terminal of an op-amp and this was giving the desired output this was giving okay so if you haven't watched those previous lecture please go and watch so in lecture 3 the sensor output is connected to the voltage follower circuit okay the potential divider output is connected to the buffer voltage follower circuit that is buffer and then this buffer is converted connected to the inverting terminal of an open which which is giving the desired amplified output so at the end of this slide i will tell you what is the uh, reason behind loading effect okay so let us go in altis spice this is altis spice this is voltage divider section this is voltage follower section and this is voltage amplification factor so you uh, first output is this is your input your first output is your divider output this is v out one this is connected to the voltage buffer okay this is buffer and this is connected buffer output is connected to the inverting amplifier this is voltage amplification which is the inverting amplifier the gain of this inverting amplifier is minus 10 okay for let's see for your input 0.5 volt for the your input 0.5 volt v out 1 equals to 0.25 volt then v buffer equals to same input 0.25 volt and after the amplification you will get minus 2.5 volt if you have input of 1 volt okay your v out would be 0.5 volt and your buffer output would be 0.5 volt and after amplification you will get 5 volt okay let me run the simulation for this okay i will show you four plot pin this is your this is your input okay this is your buffer output okay no this should be divider output this is your buffer output and this is your amplifier output okay so your input is 0 0.5 so your input is 0 0.5 your divider output is 250 millivolt your buffer output is same as divider output and your final output is minus 2.49 volt okay your final output is minus 2.49 volt so this is the case first now if you change the value here one run the simulation run the simulation let me zoom it 
now your input is 1 volt your divider output is 500 millivolt and your buffer output is 500 millivolt and since you have a gain of minus 10 your final output is minus 4.9 volt so you can see here there is a no loading effect because you have connected a buffer in between your sensor and inverting amplifier okay so let me tell you the reason behind why it is not having any loading effect so with the with the inverting amplifier configuration the sensor internal resistance and the input resistance of the amplifier are in series and form a voltage divider which reduces the effective output voltage of the sensor because of that there is a loading effect so you are not getting the desired output and the second reason with the non-inverting configuration there is a no voltage reduction because of amplifier input impedance is extremely high if it is not in an so you you are getting the desired output you are getting